I got a couple of updates regarding the RTX 50 series that I wanted to share with you. And then a couple of really small articles. One of them is regarding the RTX 4090. There is a scam that is going on right now. People are actually selling a 3080 Ti and claiming that it's a 4090. We also have a quick little update regarding the AMD Ryzen AI7. We have some new details about Zen 6 on AMD couple of articles just kind of confirming the exact same thing we have an intel 800 series chipset that was just barely leaked motherboard looks pretty sweet and then samsung hb m3e memory is still awaiting qualification from nvidia and the firm preps for mass production so this one right here completely explains itself the rest of the article it, it it's literally just explaining the title so this right here intel 800 series chipsets we're gonna come down here. So we got the H810, we have the B860, we got the Q870, we got the W880, and then we got the Z890. You, you can see the difference in the um, whatever stuff right here. I know that you don't want me to cover all of this stuff, but if you would like to pause the video, I don't wanna make this longer than it needs to be, but if you would like to pause that, then you can go ahead and do so. So this right here, AMD Zen 6 Medusa chips are possibly coming in 2025. And then this right here, the AMD Zen 6 chips could be here sooner than you think. These are both covering the exact same thing. Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money. You do not pay me anything until you see the video, the performance, the benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff. So again, link down in the description below. All right, so right here, now let's get actually get into the RTX 50 series. We're gonna we're gonna use the one over on the Tech Radar website first. So if you're impatient for NVIDIA's RTX 5090 to arrive, this Franken GPU that is basically an RTX 4090 Super will whet your appetite nicely. So I want to show you guys this really quickly because we come down here. All right, so where is it? I know it's somewhere around this area. So the RTX 4090 Super is question in question is 13% faster than the stock RTX 4090, which some of you are going to be like, who cares? It's a 4090. The 50 series is about to come out. Why is this a big deal? Okay. The f I want you to remember this. The pretty the same card, pretty much, or not the same card, but you understand where I'm. I'm. I have a brain fart moment right now. But the same series of graphics card. It's it's a 40 series graphics card. Just got a 13 percent increase for a cheaper version. Does anybody else see how this is a big deal? Okay. Now that you see it's a big deal, let's go ahead and continue here. So it's 13% faster than the RTX 4090, and it's actually an 8102 GPU, the chip that is in the RTX 4090, and it's housed in the circuit board from the RTX 3090 Ti with video RAM that is taken from an RTX 4080 Super. Specifically, the board is from a Galax RTX 3090 Ti HOFOC model, a high-end board with premium components. Yes, I, I also heard my voice crack right there. I know a lot of people are about to say something about that. So yeah, dude, I just thought this was, this was very, very cool. Okay. That white computer right there has a Galax RTX 4070 in it. And then Galax is act, they actually reached out to me to uh, do a dual a dual RTX 4070 test with uh, I have a brain fart, but they reached out to me to uh, because they want me to test their new. They have some sort of thing with this application. It was originally the uh, so it says, "Hey Dan, I don't want I don't want to be disrespectful to this email. You, my camera's kind of picking it up anyway. But I'm sure that you guys will like." You're on the phone Whoop, zoom in you'll probably be better off being able to see it on your phone i don't want to be just because i know you can't see the email it's at the top part right here so it says hey dan the marketing team decided to change the bundle package see below dan does game the rtx 4070 super exg times one the galax omega psu 850 watts so i don't why are they sending me that now because i thought they were gonna 
Where's my reply? Okay, stable diffusion. Okay, so I said I don't have stable diffusion to test it out, but I'm more than happy to install the 247s in my computer with an RTX 4090 right now. And then down here, it's like, I respond to them. Absolutely, it's, I was so excited when they said this to me. I have, I've been using the Galax products for a long, I literally have probably like 10 or 15 videos because it's true. They make the best 4070, bro. I don't care what anybody says. The RG, like, they, there's no other company that, like, has, or maybe not the best, like, performance wise, but, like, aesthetically for the height Y60 and the height Y70 cases, dude, they're gra mm, It's the perfect, gra it's the best looking graphic. I don't care what nobody says. Um, the RGB lights on it really, they, they make the, they make it really look cool for the vertical mounted. So we, original email said, RTX 4070 Ti, one click OC, two times V2 times two. <laughs> and then the Galaxo Mega Power Supply, 1200 watt, whatever the HOF Maestro and HOF Ace is. I don't know why I'm just explaining. So anyways, the reason I went in there is because I, I remember the whatever. This is Galax. So I thought that that was just super interesting because, um, yeah. I don't know. Dude, I'm excited for the 50 series. I'm gonna freaking, that's so nuts. Fucking 70% increase. Cause I'm a content creator, bro. And I know it's not gonna, you have to understand. Like, okay, so I have, I have my PC channel. I got my gaming channel. I got my tech, or not tech, uh, my AI channel. I got my podcast channel. I got my car channel. So like, I'm rendering out these 4K videos, dude, all day long. And it's, it's like, you know what I mean? Like that's 70%. So can you imagine let just to make the math easy, let's say you're me and you're rendering out a hundred minutes worth of video footage every single day. And this hundred minutes worth of video footage takes you, let's say 45 minutes to render out pretty much. Cause the, to be fair, the 4090 is kind of like just the fact that we have over real time for 4k rendering is good, but I'm just saying the 50 series is going to be even better. So like, you factor, let's say a hundred minute 4k video that renders out in 45 minutes or maybe 30 minutes, depending on the bit rate that I use. Cause I do use different bit rates depending on what I'm doing in the video. Obviously if I'm driving around a racetrack on my car channel in a friggin' Lamborghini, I'm going to have a higher bit rate because you need, you, you need more detail going through your video footage when you're going 150 miles per hour. But then you have me standing in front of a camera talking. I probably use like 20,000 bit rate for this video. You don't need a lot because it's, it's enough to be 4k. I really hate my cotton though. It always goes in that corner and it looks so stupid. How many of you have cotton though? Uh, but anyways, you boys, how many times did I say, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Let me know what you think about this, man. I'm just, I just think it's so interesting. Like it's just the, so they made somebody, I'm,